Hi, my name is James with FLIR Systems. Today we're going to be talking about some differences between the two different primary types of infrared detector technologies, uncooled microbolometers and cooled INSB photon counting detectors. We'll be illustrating these differences in terms of three elements, speed, spot size, and sensitivity. Let's first address uncooled detector-based cameras. This FLIR T1KSC uncooled detector camera has a 1280 by 720 microbolometer detector. A microbolometer is a thermal-based sensor that experiences a change in resistance when heated or cooled. With the lens of our camera, we focus infrared radiation onto the T1K detector elements. As the radiation strikes the detector elements, they heat up and their respective resistance changes. The resistance change is measured for each element, converted to a digital count, calibrated to a temperature, assigned a color or grayscale value, and presented as a viewable infrared image. Some great things about uncooled microbolometers are low power consumption, lower cost, moderate sensitivity, and no mechanical cooling. Some drawbacks include fixed and long time constants, relatively slow frame rates, and no control over timing or triggering. Now let's discuss cooled detector-based cameras. This A8300SC is an example of an IR camera that is fitted with a cooled photon counting detector. The camera has a 1280 by 720 indium antimonide, or INSB, detector. Cooled cameras work by collecting photons of infrared energy that pass through the optic. These photons are converted into an electrons that are stored in an integration capacitor. After a certain time period, called integration time, the charge is read out to a digital count, calibrated to temperature, assigned a color or grayscale value, and presented as a viewable infrared image. Some advantages of photon counting cameras include very short integration times, fast frame rates, superior sensitivity, ability to see and measure very small targets, and triggering and synchronization control. Some disadvantages include relatively higher costs than uncooled microbolometer cameras, and they typically require cryogenic cooling. If you are interested in learning more about cooled and uncooled detectors and cameras, we have additional videos, white papers, and application notes available online. Thanks.